Hello once again to all the guys, the gals, and the non-binary pals. Uh, today is just going to be a little bit of a ramble video, um, which I'm sure I will regret later <laughs> when I start editing. But uh, today I have a little bit of a hot button topic for all you furries and non-furries, whoever watches my channel, I don't know. Before we get started though, I have reached 100 subscribers and I cannot thank you enough. Like, I never thought I'd hit a milestone that was like 50, but now I have. <laughs> A hundred and that means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching my videos and just, you know, helping me make content. So, the big question. What is mersuiting? Mersuiting is classified as, um, also excuse this ugly ass mic setup, but uh, this is the only mic that I have and usually I, I wear it around my neck, but since I'm shooting a little differently today, I just thought I'd hold it. Um, mersuiting is fursuiting, but for when you do the old horizontal boogie. It's suiting, but you're also fucking. People fuck in fursuits. Which, if you are part of the furry fandom, then that means you've probably come into contact with the moniker of, uh, all furries do is have sex in a fursuit. And that's really not true. There is a small minority of people, um, who are called mursuiters, M-U-R-R, -R, suitors, that do have sex in fursuit. And um, it's a little bit of a hot button topic that uh, is a little bit, you know, here, here there, and uh, really what happens with mursuiting, how do I put this? My initial stance on mursuiting, I don't like it. It makes me super uncomfortable. I don't like um, being in contact with mer suits. I don't like the concept of being in contact with suits that people have had sex in. That is just disgusting to me. Uh, I personally am demisexual, which is um, on the asexual spectrum, which means that I have to have a strong bond with someone before I start even considering a, a relationship. And what mer suiters do, that's up to them, completely up to them. But just the thought of being in contact with someone's nut is so disgusting. That being said, if you are a mersuiter, that does not automatically mean that you are a bad person. Quite the contrary. It just makes quite a lot of people really uncomfortable. And that is a totally valid experience, just like being a mersuiter is valid. Being made uncomfortable by the concept of mersuiting is also valid. There are a couple of reasons why I think mersuiting can be bad. Like, if someone comes to a con in a mersuit, you know that suit, after you use it for sex, is a sex toy. So that would be like bringing a dildo into a Walmart. You just don't do that. You don't submit other people to this. They did not consent. A lot of mersuiters have two bodysuits, one for cons and one for, you know, fucking and uh, a lot of times they don't have two heads, which is understandable from like a money standpoint, but at the same time, don't wear a sex toy to a con. You don't go, hey, oh, I washed this dildo, don't worry about it, it's fine. You just don't do that. That is putting people in situations that they were not prepared for, that they did not ask for. If they wanted to see it, that's totally different, but if you just go to a con setting, you could risk coming into contact with children. You could be having children getting near your mersuit. And that's just fucking disgusting. Don't do that. That being said, I don't think mersuiting is as bad as others make it out to be. It, it, it can make certain people uncomfortable. Yes, it will always make me uncomfortable personally. It could make you uncomfortable personally. You could be fine with it. I don't care. Because your opinions are valid. As long as you are not trying to hurt other people, your opinion's pretty damn valid. There's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Mersuiting is not as bad as people make it out to be when it's done safely and you're not putting other people in a position of coming into contact with something that has been used as a sex toy. Like, if you want to fuck in your mersuit, you go ahead. You have fun. You do you. Don't involve us in it. There are just furries that want to have a good time. They want to go out to a con and be like, oh yeah, I'm having great. Having a great <laughs> I'm having great. I'm having a great time. Oh yeah. You will not be missed. And then sometimes people who come around in like mer suits and 
you can tell that they're Mars suits because they have to like wear the underwear. In I'm already regretting making this a rambling video. <laughs> okay, some furries just want to go to a con. They want to have a great time. They want to just fool around, be animals in suits. If mersuiters keep to themselves and they aren't public about it, cool. I mean, you do you. You have so much fun. You have so much fun being a dog and a fucking another dog or whatever the fuck. Because it is a fetish. It's a fetish. And that's all. That's It's a fetish, man. And I just don't... Don't be public about it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> don't bring your stuff out in public and wave it in front of your face. Because if... How do I put this? I had a good example before I started filming this video. I had a good example. But I've already forgotten it. <laughs> oh god, my camera is so shitty. I had a good example before I started recording this video. Okay, uh, so you know the people that go around cons and like diapers and, and pup play stuff? That is kind of on the same level as if you wear a mer suit to a con. Like, just please don't expose other people to that, because you don't know who's asexual, who's sex repulsed, and also it's just kind of fucking disgusting if you've nutted on something and you're letting other people touch it and they don't know. That is so fucking gross. If you are a mer suiter, you have the best time. You have fun. You have fun fucking a dog as a dog. I don't care. That being said, please don't bring it out into public where people can't consent to touching your sex toys. Please. I beg you. There's nothing more weird than like finding out someone is a mersuiter and having like touched their head, maybe even having put on their head. Ugh. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning in to see these little bite-sized pieces of content. It means a lot and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm totally humbled. I didn't know that many people wanted to watch my shit. Um, that being said, uh, soon I will have my Megaplex video out, but there is a bit of a change in plan. Um, that is because Jam is getting refurbished by the fursuit maker who made uh, Lemon. And I won't have her back until January of next year, which is totally fine. But at the same time, I've kind of built my channel around Andalite Diaries, and I can't exactly <laughs> do Andalite Diaries as a Trico, so um, we're going to be doing little chat segments called Trico Talks as well as more speed paints than you normally get, so tune in for more content, say bye little lemon. Uh, I actually made Tang a pair of little wings and I'm wearing them because I want to wear the wings that I made before I shipped them off. Tang is not my suit, he is owned by Ellie, but that being said, he is super fun to suit as. He's probably my favorite suit that I've ever worn, and he's an angel dragon, but he did not have wings, so I made them for him. Thanks again for watching. If you have any videos that you want to see made, do not be afraid to leave a comment. You can have uh, little suggestions, and I will make a little video about them on Trico Talks. Thanks once again, and you guys have a wonderful day. Shoot for the moon, and have a good one.